Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Ricky here from Ricky's Macintosh, here with my quick preview of OS X Mountain Lion. Now I apologize for this video being so late, but let me explain. Without even thinking, I went to update to OS X Mountain Lion Developer Preview Beta 1. I thought, cool, sign me up, I'm ready to go. And so far I've really enjoyed, you know, using the software. What happened was I didn't even think about app compatibility issues that I might have. So I go to shoot the video for, you know, for you guys, and ScreenFlow doesn't work. It crashes every time I click on it. It's pretty much rendered useless. So I got really bummed out, but I updated to Developer Preview Beta 2, and now ScreenFlow works, so I'm able to shoot this video for you guys. Now, obviously, you can go to apple.com and you can check out these new features on your own, but what I wanted you guys to have is a video showing you guys the live preview. It'll show you some of these cool transitions that happen, and you know, I just wanted you guys to see it firsthand without necessarily looking at pictures on Apple's website. So I'm gonna go through six features here. The first one's not really a feature though. It is just a name change. Apple is no longer calling it Mac OS X, they're just calling it OS X. Now this isn't earth shattering by any means, but it is something to note. The first feature I wanna to talk to you about with OS X Mountain Lion is messages. Now, as you guys know, they have their Back to the Mac campaign going right now where they're trying to get all these new features from you know, the iPad, the iPhone, all the iOS features over to the Mac. So let's go ahead and take a look at messages first. And you can see on the dock here, it's this blue shiny icon here. And what you notice here is if you have an iPad, nothing's really different. You have your conversations here on the left. And on the middle here, we have just the main conversation window. Again, you can go full screen here. So just click those double arrows. You have full screen apps. And you also have the ability to initiate a FaceTime call within messages, which is pretty nice. Um, what I really appreciate about this app is let's say you get a text message on your phone while you're working on a project on your Mac. What you're able to do is just reply to that text message from messages without having to go down to your phone. And it just seems like it's you know a real streamlined way of doing things. You don't have to interrupt what you're doing to talk to somebody. You can just click on messages, type something real quick, and go back to what you're doing all seamlessly. So that is probably one of the really cool reasons why I'm happy they're bringing this to the Mac. We all knew it was coming, just didn't know when. It's here in Mac OS 10 or OS 10 Mountain Lion. See, I did it already. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next new feature, which is Notification Center. Now, I really, really like Notification Center on iOS. I love getting those text messages, those emails. I just love those banners, how they fold down, don't interrupt you, and then they go go away quietly. You can, again, answer them right then and there, or you can wait and save them till a later date. So let's go ahead and open up Notification Center. It's this little pin right here on the top right. It'll turn blue once you have new notifications. Click on that, everything slides over to the left. Let me show you that again, because I think it's a cool transition. And it shows, again, all your updates, all your Notification Center, uh, notifications. So I have an App Store update. I have a calendar here that's telling me I need to take out the trash, which I did. I have an email from Twitter saying I have a message from iPhone 4 parts, and then I have a couple text messages from my mom. So again, very nice feature that we all love and enjoy on iOS. It's brought here to the Mac. If you want to mess around with some of the settings in Notification Center, you can go ahead and go to System Preferences, click on Notifications, and again, you have the same kind of you know, settings that you would on iOS. You have App Store alert style, uh, none banners, alerts. Again, you can customize these for all these apps that are in Notification Center. So go ahead and play around with those once you get the full OS. Uh, next up, we have Notes. Notes is exactly like it is on iOS. Nothing new here, they've just brought it to the Mac. And what's nice is that notes and then the next feature I'm gonna to talk to you about, which is reminders, they all sync together. So you make a change on your Mac, it's gonna change on your phone, your iPad, your iPod Touch, whatever you have. Again, you make a change on those iOS devices, it's gonna change on your Mac. So really cool features, really nice to have. One of those things that you know, you're know you not even gonna think about later on, it's just gonna happen, it's gonna work seamlessly and you're gonna really enjoy it. Uh, for those of you that are wondering, this particular note that I have up here, uh, when the new iMacs come out, I'm really considering upgrading. So all these items that I have listed here are items that I currently am looking to sell. So if you are interested, let me know. Um, obviously these prices have dropped just a little bit. 
Um, these are just the retail prices that I paid for them. And then I have a sell price right here. This is the price that I'm including for everything. So the whole kit and caboodle, the whole enchilada. So let me know if you're interested. Next up is reminders. Again, reminders will sync up with your phone, your iPad, and then now your Mac. Uh, if you have that grocery store list that you need to get ready, you can type it up on your Mac, walk out the door, you have it on your phone, it's all ready to go because for those of us that have wives, if we miss anything, we're in big trouble. <laughs> so that is reminders, nothing too exciting there. And the last feature I'm gonna talk about in this video is Game Center. Now I don't use Game Center on iOS and I don't anticipate using it that much on OS 10 Mountain Lion. But for those of you that do, it's pretty much the same thing. You just log in, you have your friends category up top here, games and requests. You can go ahead and look at those leaderboards. You can challenge people to games. All the good stuff that's in Game Center, you can go ahead and do on OS 10 Mountain Lion. Again, you have the full screen. So again, looks really nice, really clean, but I don't use Game Center. So don't be uh, <laughs> looking to play me in any of those games. So. That is my quick preview of OS X Mountain Lion. Now, there are a few other features I wanna talk about, but I'll be doing separate videos on those, like AirPlay. Um, you can go ahead and use your Mac and AirPlay it to the TV, so you can have your Mac screen on your TV, which is a really nice feature. I will be doing that in a separate video, probably a while down the road, but I'll let you guys know when that's coming out. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed the quick preview of OS X Mountain Lion. I'm excited for it to come out sometime this summer. And uh, let me know what you think of it. Drop me some comments down below. Hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.